What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Dalton. I ride and race bikes and today I am going to talk to you about why I switched from the Kuat NV 2.0 base over to the Rocky Mount backstage. Now I'm going to compare and contrast these two racks a little bit. First things first, they are both hitch racks so they're going to be pretty similar overall but there are some key differences and components that I do want to talk about to help me make my decision to switch over to the Rocky Mounts. Let's go ahead and dive into each individual component and check out the key differences between these two racks. First things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the hitch pin that goes into your receiver and the tightening mechanisms associated with each rack. Now, on the Rocky mounts, you have basically a locking hitch pin, just like the Kuat. Each rack has one of these little ends that goes on the actual hitch pin itself that keeps it locked into the receiver, and then it just covers up for safe storing. That basically just allows the honest people to stay honest, and if they do decide they don't have a cable lock and they want to steal the entire rack, they can't do so because it's locked to the actual vehicle that you own. Now tightening mechanisms, this is actually really important because if you don't have a tightening mechanism, obviously the rack will jostle around a little bit in the actual receiver itself on the vehicle. The tightening mechanism on the Rocky mounts is actually the hitch pin itself. It goes in and then you screw it down tight and that makes sure the rack stays really tight in there and it doesn't allow any play between the receiver and the hitch mount itself. Now with the Kuat, I will say it has this little tightening mechanism on the back here and it's basically a twist knob, tightens all the way down, that reduces the play in that it pushes these steel balls to the outside up against the receiver and that allows that to stay in place as well overall both of these racks are extremely secure once you get them put in the receiver and tightened down properly and i've had no problems with either of them coming loose jostling so i would say they're equal on this playing field now onto the mechanism that actually unlatches this and lets it drop into place and become a platform. The Rocky Mounts backstage has this little blue handle here. You pull that out, it drops down, no problem. The Kuat NV 2.0 base has this little lever. You just twist it a little bit and it drops down. Both racks have the ability to be dropped down to a negative degree angle, allowing you to typically get into the back of your vehicle no problem. Once your platform is locked in, ready to go and flat, you'll be able to throw your bikes up there. Now both of these are very similar in the mechanisms they have to secure the bike to the actual platform. On the rear, they're both gonna have a strap that comes over your wheel, and that's gonna be the same for both of them. I currently have the long strap installed on my Rocky Mounts backstage because it allows me a little more flexibility to put my TT bike on there with my Head Jet 90 training wheels. I am super careful about clamping those wheels because it is just a carbon fairing. It's not an actual piece of the rim itself. So they are super flimsy. I tighten them down very gently and make sure nothing crazy happens there. Now, moving to the front of each rack, we're gonna look at the actual arms themselves. So, they're both ratcheting arm with a button release or a trigger release. I will say the Kua wins in this department. I don't know if it's just the quality of the rack itself, the quality in which it's made, but I will say the arm here fits much tighter over the fork, tire, and the bike itself. Overall, on the Rocky Mounts, I've realized that it has a little bit more play than I like. However, at the end of the day, both racks are extremely secure. Like I said, I put in 3,000 miles on each, and I've never had a bike just go flying off the back. I've also never had any fork problems, any tire or rim problems, or anything along those lines. So overall, I'm not too concerned about this little bit of extra play between the two racks. However, the Kuat definitely wins in this department, and I will say the quality of their construction is a little bit higher for this ratcheting arm piece. The last key difference I'm gonna talk about between the two racks is the actual lock mechanism so with the Rocky Mounts backstage I would say it also loses in this department to the Kuat. The Kuat allows you to lock each bike individually to the tray in the rack and then it pops into itself so it's self-locking. The Rocky Mounts has one individual cable lock that locks through both bikes. Now if you're stopping and you only want to pull one bike off this is kind of a pain in the butt because you have to unlock both bikes, reroute the cable, and then put it back in. Now I know that's not a huge deal but it is an added convenience factor that comes with the Kuat. The Kuat's locking system also slides out very nicely via magnet and then it locks into itself whereas the Rocky Mounts locks to the actual mount itself. So they're a little bit different there and then the actual cable lock slides back into the Kuat and then disappears and it's just stowed right there. You have to store your cable lock for the Rocky Mounts somewhere in your vehicle or on your person. If you forget keys, if you forget the actual locking piece, all those things, it can be a problem. So the Kuat does make it easier to lock your bike to the actual rack. Now at the end of the day, these are just cable locks, so I don't know how much you can rely on them. It basically just keeps the honest people honest. If you're relying on that particular piece of equipment to protect your bikes, 
um, I would say you should probably rethink that, but at the end of the day, hey, it's up to you. Now, I wanna explain why I switched the Rocky mounts over the Kua MV 2.0 base. The form factor when you fold it up against the back of the truck is completely different. So the Kua sticks out much further than the Rocky mounts does, and that is actually a concern for me because I do drive around town with this thing attached every single day, and I do want it to look good. I also don't wanna be backing into stuff, and the further this thing sticks out, the more likely it is that I'm gonna back into a tree or a pole or a wall or whatever. Hopefully not anybody else's car. An additional note is that the Rocky Mounts already comes with the swing away capabilities built in. It swings out 180 degrees. It gets it way away from the back of the truck, allowing me full access to the deck system that I have in the back of my truck. It allows me to stow all my equipment, gear, camera stuff, drones, whatever inside that drawer system. The Kuat actually needs an external pivot adapter. You can buy it online, but it's an additional $350 on top of what the Kuat already costs. So total, all in all, you're gonna be in around $1,150 to $1,200 for the Kuat rack versus the $750 of the Rocky Mounts Backstage. Not to mention, that's actually gonna add to the form factor a little bit more. You're gonna get a few more inches on the Kuat once you do put that additional piece in there and then also you're gonna have to lock that rack to that pivot adapter to the truck and it just makes it one more piece of mechanical equipment that I don't really want to deal with that makes the Rocky mounts easier for me because it's all one integrated system and like I said the form factor fits nicely up against the back of the truck last but not least the actual Kuat pivot itself was on back order for like seven months if you want it to swing to the passenger side of the truck now you can order the driver side but that was gonna be a problem because I did not want to be parking in traffic swing it out in the middle of traffic and have my bikes get absolutely blown off by a vehicle passing by so I opted for a passenger side swing. If you wanted to opt for a passenger side swing with the Kuat, you were gonna have to wait six or seven months. I wasn't willing to do that. I have a lot of racing coming up. I have a lot of traveling coming up and I need to get something on the truck as soon as possible. Now, I initially grabbed the Kuat because I could get it quickly through Amazon and I was going on a trip basically a couple days after I got the truck and so I needed a hitch rack. And so that's why I purchased the Kuat. I will be selling it now and keeping my Rocky Mounts backstage because over time I realized that it just didn't suit my needs. So so the Rocky Mounts Backstage is my bike rack of choice. It's cool that it's made right here in Colorado in the United States. Now this is not sponsored. I'm not making this decision based on having been given either rack. I paid for both of them. Uh, I've been using both equally about 3,000 miles, but I've been using the Rocky Mounts exclusively since I've gotten it. That's pretty much it, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see how I've been putting these racks to use, check out this video right here me running up to Mount Whitney or maybe this one up in Big Bear with the Kuat and then most recently we drove out to Valley of the Sun for a stage race you can check out that video right here or here or somewhere in this vicinity I don't know anyway hope you guys stick around hope you enjoyed this video take care I'll see you again soon